And speaking of cutting your losses, if you're still in that spring cleaning mode, trying to declutter certain rooms, but you still want it to look classy and fashionable, you can count on this lady, Libby Langdon. She's come to the rescue today. She's the author of Libby Langdon's Small Space Solutions, and she's sharing some of her best kept secrets for maximizing storage space. Welcome back, Libby. Thank you so and much. These are good secrets. These are good. You guys are going to watch this. Okay. People have clutter. They've got junk. We've got stuff, yeah. and we need a place to store it. Right. But the thing that's fun is you can look at ordinary items that you've already got in your house house and just use them in a different way. Right, and these do not have to cost a lot of money. As a matter of fact, you're just using, like you said, things that you have around the house. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so the first one is the with the first clipboards. thing, these are little clipboard caddies, and they're just simple clipboards, mm -hmm. and you'd actually screw them into a wall in like an entryway or your kitchen. Okay. But by screwing in a little cup hook on the bottom, it allows you to store keys, you can hang a small purse, but uh -huh. it's a perfect place to put tickets or reminders right. or invitations invitations receipts, things that you need at the ready. And that would normally just be scattered all over the place exactly. around the house, too. Exactly. So. so get them up off of the counters yeah. and things like that. Get them up on the walls. Okay, gotcha. And then also, there's a lot of stuff to, you know, you have clutter here, here, and there, but you can hide it in the cabinets. Absolutely. <laughs> Use the insides of your kitchen cabinets or any inside of a pantry door. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can take a simple shoe organizer and you staple gun it to the inside of the door oh. and then use all the pouches to hold pens, remote controls, if you're doing it on the inside of an entertainment unit. Right. Or, you know, again, a good place to keep cards, scissors, magazines, catalogs, things that you need access to, but you don't want them out right. all over your out tables. Out of sight, out of mind. But exactly. if, if it's strong enough to hold shoes, it can hold your remote control and the scissors, right? Yeah, you want to be organized. <laughs> okay, I like that. Now, this one here is a wall wire rack. I yeah, sure I can say it right. <laughs> absolutely. This is just a simple baking rack. You know uh -huh. the rack that you cool cookies yep. on after you bake them. But what you do is you take some simple cup hooks mm -hmm. and screw them into the wall and then you're literally going to just hang this on the wall. Gotcha. And the way you fasten all of the different utensils on there are just with these little S hooks. Okay. They're super simple. They just go right on there and you can hang everything, pot holders, utensils, mm -hmm. measuring cups, anything, anything small. But the idea is clear out your, you know, your cabinets, uh -huh. your drawers, get things up on your wall. And so are you seeing a lot of people putting these up on their wall or kind of concealing them? Yeah, this? no, you can put this yeah. absolutely up on your wall. Okay. It's also great to hang pots and pans. That's true. Yeah. yeah. So okay. really, really simple. And something you probably already have in your kitchen. Three for three, Libby. You're doing pretty good. <laughs> All right, next. This is my favorite, though. I like this one. Okay. Also, we're talking about the shoe racks, but this one goes by the bed. Yes. Okay. This is what I call my dust skirt storage. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you literally put this part right of the storage under your mattress, and then this hangs over your dust skirt, and it hangs right up next to your side of the bed. Uh -huh. So it's a perfect place to put magazines, notepads, a remote control, slippers, uh -huh. little things that you don't want laying around on your bedside table, mm -hmm. but go ahead and put your dust skirt to work for but you. But you have to find one that's kind of short, too. Well, right? actually, this is a long one that I just cut in half, so you use Stop one. Stop it, Libby. I did. You are good. I did. <laughs> and then you just dropped the scissors right in here. Exactly. You're <laughs> so good. Okay, last but not least, this one is what you call your book stack side table, right? Absolutely okay. right. And, you know, so often we have really gorgeous coffee table mm -hmm. books, but you're sort of, you don't want them all over the place. That can feel a little close. Cluttered. Right. This is just a simple plant stand that has casters on it, and you can stack some of your better looking coffee table books on it to give you about 19 or 20 inches in height and just set it next to any sort of side chair. And yeah. it's a perfect place to put down a drink, a book. I see this a lot in your book as well, too, with yes. the different designs and different ideas that you give out. And it looks like it's supposed to be this way. Yes, it's it is. It's originally meant to be that way. <laughs> Thank you so much, Libby. It's always good to see you Thank here. Thank you. Make us feel a little more inspired to get it together. Okay, you guys can get more of Libby's creative ideas for making small clutter spaces appear a lot larger and spacious in her book. It's called Libby Langdon's Small Space Solutions. It's available now.